Look, we all have to be honest with ourselves. There is no cure for stupid. You can take antibiotics for it, but there's no cure. As long as stupid lives, so will feminism. And this video right here is probably the dumbest video that I've ever seen made by any feminist in particular. Next to the one that worships her own fucking vagina. Welcome to my vagina. The Fappening! What is the Fappening, I asked myself. Unfortunately, my roommate responded. What's the Fappening? <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just that that particular YouTuber is so, so freaking stupid. But I'm not here to talk about her. She's one big cancer I want to avoid for a while and focus on this particular cancer for a while. I have voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. I want a diamond ring. I want some bracelets and everything. Cat calling is an all American pastime. Hey, it's my sweetheart. You're looking good, baby. Good enough to eat. How dare you admire my body? I remember songs from the 50s and 60s that I've seen uh, uh, archived, uh, you know, standing on the corner, watching all the girls go by. The girl can't help it. The girl can't help it. She won't fall. So, according to these people, even looking at these women is somehow sexist. You know, we can't admire somebody's body because it's sexist. Listen, cunts, okay, you cackling hens. People are going to look at your body first, then your personality. Not the other way around, okay? We're not fucking aliens. This is how reality freaking works. I can tell Zoro Baggins is probably right now typing in, in some comments about how these women are very stupid. You know, I've seen this guy, like, pretty much in every video that I made towards feminism. I'm curious what he has to say. Harassment is about ownership. It's about the idea that women's bodies and very presence in public space is not for us. So if someone looks at you, you know, for like about a few seconds, somehow that means that the patriarchy has come and that guy, that guy is basically, you know, thinking that what you wear is his entertainment. Look, I don't care what you fucking wear, okay? Me, personally, if you wear something very nice, I'm going to notice you. You know, at least look at you for a very few, for a few seconds and admire your beauty, and then walk off and be like, yeah, she was pretty nice. Maybe I could have talked to her, and who knows? Maybe I would get a girlfriend. Who knows? I'm not interested in the girlfriend, by the way. And no, I'm not gay either. But, um... Ugh. These people have the right to take a look at you regardless of what you're wearing. Okay? If you wear something provocative, you're going to get the attention of people. And I say people and not men because women do this shit too. And yes, trans folks as well. Although me personally, if you have a penis, you're a man. If you got boobs and you got a vagina, you're a woman. If you got boobs and a penis, then I don't know what to say about that. Because what are we there for? 
if not to shake that ass, baby. Shake it, honey! <laughs> yeah! Oh, the stupid is strong in this one. And I often think men aren't aware of how different it is for women to walk down the street. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take a close look around the surroundings, all right? I'm gonna play the entire clip and then I will going I am going to explain on what is wrong with this situation. Hey gorgeous. How you doing, sweetie? Okay. If you haven't figured it out yet, I will point this out. There's graffiti on the wall. It's you know, it looks like a fucking ghetto. In fact, it pretty much is. I know what a ghetto is because I live in fucking New York. New York is full of these shits, especially in the Bronx. So, of course you're gonna get catcalled near a freaking ghetto because guess what? Civilians are fucking assholes there. I know this stuff because I live in fucking New York. Not to mention that uh, she's wearing fucking provocative clothing. You're going to get the attention of many, many men, especially in a fucking get. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Calling someone beautiful is considered catcalling. Beautiful. Fucking... Ugh. Where the fuck do you draw the line? Where the fuck do you draw the fucking line? What, should we just keep our mouths shut and just hang our heads low, not look at any women? Because you know what? You women are something special. And you will only give us permission to look at you if you feel like you need some attention. Is that what you feel like, princess? You know, what, what else do you want? To, I don't know, have many men crawl under your feet and, you know, just beg f to be whipped? You, you're a terrible human being. I know the way I dress is kind of provocative, but it doesn't mean that I should have to deal with it. The point of dressing provocative is to get the attention of people. You cannot dress provocative and expect no one to take a look at you. Not even one man. If you dress provocative, you get the attention of men. This is how reality works. If you knew what provocative means, then you would dress a little less, I don't know, slutty and more casual. And go to an area that is more, more or less not a ghetto, okay? Something that isn't run down, broken, you know, a very nice area. Chances of you getting catcalled is greatly reduced. Do I think women should be um, judged or harassed based on what they wear? Absolutely not. To me, that's a slippery slope that leads to the argument that girls who wear short skirts are asking for it. I really admire the women that respond back on the street. Go to hell. I'm surprised this woman hasn't well, geez, I don't know. Go after his balls like this comic right here. What hell? If you if you want to respond that way, that's fine. Just don't kick him in the fucking nuts. Or taking back of the power in the moment. I wish more girls would come out of their shell and just tell somebody to shut the fuck up. It's their mouths. You have no right to tell them to shut the hell up. I can tell you whatever the fuck I want. I can say whatever the hell I want. You're a bitch. 
There, I said it. You are a bitch. Just do it. You'll feel way better. Street harassment is almost like a gateway drug to other more serious forms of violence. The idea that women don't control their own bodies on the street is so connected to the culture that allows women to be sexually assaulted. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Looking at someone will lead to actual sexual harassment. What, is there should be a fucking law that says if you look at someone sexually, you'll get fined $250. Or you'll be sentenced in jail for three freaking months because the body of a woman shouldn't be objectified. I've lived in Washington, D.C. now for 10 years and I've been assaulted three times. My name is Jennifer Corey. In 2009, I was crowned Miss District of Columbia. I went on to compete in the Miss America pageant in Las Vegas, finishing in the top 10. Look, I won't go into too much details about her, about this video. I'm not going to play the rest of the video. Uh, but what happened is that she got sexually assaulted on a train. And, you know, she felt powerless. The guy just give her this smirk and say, yeah, I, I, I rubbed your ass and all that shit. Look. Sexual harassment is a really big deal. And this is I this is where I agree with this person. Sexual harassment is bad. However, to compare sexual harassment towards catcalling and even just looking at a woman, somehow somehow that will you link the two, it makes a lot of sense. No. This is wrong. This is just plain stupid and wrong playing stupid and wrong Ugh. okay I'm sorry this that this individual was sexual sexually harassed but if a man looks at you it's not because the guy wants to rape you okay he, he as long as the guy just look at you and say stuff, that's fine, okay? Catcalling is okay because it is worse. As soon as that guy touches your ass without your permission, then you can say sexual assault. But until that guy gets near your radius, touches your ass, you can't say fucking shit. And if someone is stalking you, you can either, well, bring up a weapon and threaten his life, or you can simply go visit someone, or even go to the freaking police. <sighs> that being said, I am done. So, about the video, about my, um, about my video on, about the common argument arguments against feminism is still being under it's on it's on its way you know I'm still working on it so you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for more videos but there is one particular video that I need to make a video response to and believe me when I say this I'm not gonna just sit on a chair and rant I'm going to get up and actually do something a little more impressive. Something that might even get the attention of a certain individual. I won't say who, but he loves playing the guitar. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the gamer. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.